What's going on YouTube? Steven Asalonga here and in today's haircut tutorial I'm going to be doing a step-by-step -step haircut on this mannequin and this is the haircut that a lot of women want. Almost like the most demanded layered haircut where you know everybody wants shorter layers but they want to keep the length, they want to get some volume and you know I'm just basing this off of the hundreds and hundreds of clients that I've had over the years who have wanted a haircut like this and I see and, and the reason they're coming into me is because one, other people can't do it properly or they're just getting it botched, completely botched up and they're coming to me to fix it. You know, I like to call my haircuts, it's like doing reconstructive surgery sometimes. So here's what we're doing today and here's a typical kind of scenario um, where somebody, you know, their hair's grown out, they have almost no layers, they're complaining they can't get a haircut. So if you're a client like that, like let me know in the comments below or you know, like the video so I know you can relate because people travel from all over the place for haircuts with me to, to focus on this stuff. You know, or the other scenario is I'm seeing women coming in with the layers so botched up and it's not blended properly, it's just a disaster. All right, so I want you guys to see this kind of before, all right, this is pretty much all one length, there's really no layers in it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create some layers starting kind of around this area and we're going to angle it all the way down and create a beautiful shorter to longer layered shape and um, you know I'm going to break it down step by step so you guys can understand it and why it's important to cut it the way I'm cutting it and also if you're a hairstylist uh, you know experienced or whether in school this will be a very helpful video for you too because this is a haircut that you really need to know so I'm going to wash this mannequin and then we'll come right back and get started. All right, so let's get started. What I've simply done is I've parted the hair basically right down the middle and I've created a section on both sides here, which is basically called the division point, which separates the front from the back. You know, I like to do this just because it helps me and keeps me organized that anything, you know, from here forward is really technically the sides and the front, all right? This is a whole different area back here. We have to treat it as such because we have to cut this and then connect it into here so we can't really focus on this part too much what we're going to do now is we're going to establish the base and i always talk about this in my haircuts where the base really when you think about it is the length right the length of the haircut but like with any haircut or any foundation right the foundation is is the most important thing right it's like when you're building a house or so you know, the foundation is literally the most important part. And without a solid foundation, you know, you're off, you're not really off to a good start. And the haircut could collapse, it just may not fall well. You know, and this is also the, the really the key part of the entire haircut, you know, because it really outlines everything. So I don't always use clips, to be honest with you. I'm a guy who just kind of likes to section off and get through it rather quickly. So, you know, do you have to use clips? Not necessarily, but if you are used to using them, then fine. So here's what we're dealing with right now, all right? We're dealing with the back and the length, and this is the first part of the entire haircut. Now, there's a few things we can do, okay? You have to make sure that the, the back here is gonna be balanced with however short you're bringing it to the front. Now, I'm gonna base this length off of the majority of the requests from what women have been looking for um, since I've been doing hair, they all kind of want this around this, you know, neck length, like right, pretty much right into the, uh, the bottom of the neck or the, you know, top of the shoulders around that area. Okay, so because I noticed that women still like to have some length to their hair. And ladies, let me know if you're, uh, you agree with me. You know, not everybody wants it super, super short, but from my experiences, sometimes women like to keep the length, but also have some volume to it. So that's why I'm picking this area. Now, keep in mind, even though we're cutting the back, if you notice what I'm doing is I'm standing, you know, or you probably can't see, but I'm combing this straight down this way. I'm not bringing this out to cut it because I wanna maintain that weight in through the corner. So I'm bringing everything not into the middle, but basically straight down. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna comb this all down, and depending on the thickness of the hair, really depends on the sectioning uh, that you're gonna, or how many sections you're gonna take. So this has relatively thick hair, um, but because I'm experienced, I can pretty much see the guide 
and I know where I want to cut this, but if you are just starting out, you know, or it's up to the stylist, you know, discretion, if whatever they're comfortable with, but as long as you can see your guideline, you're fine. Okay, now remember, what you want to do is you want to keep as little, ele like no elevation whatsoever, and not a lot of tension. Because what's going to happen is you may start to layer the hair a bit too much, or you may start to create some sort of uh, different type of shape into the hair that you don't want to create. So that's why I like doing it with really little to no tension whatsoever, just enough that you can hold the hair in your fingers, uh, but without lifting it or elevating it. All right, you want to keep this really pretty much zero degree elevation, which means straight down, okay? Now, as you can see right into here, once again, we're combing the hair back. We're not, I'm not overextending out to the sides here because I want to maintain that length, all right? And I'm, I'm really just standing directly behind where I'm cutting. So if you want to just cross, double check this just to make sure it's okay, comb the hair straight down, again, with no elevation whatsoever, as low as possible, or you can comb this all straight, just like that with no, no finger tension whatsoever, and literally just cut this straight across. Sometimes that works just as well, but this is the part where you really want to make sure that everything is even. So right now, we're even Steven, we're looking good, and it's time to connect in through the sides and the front. All right, so I'm just gonna unclip the hair and I'm gonna comb this all straight down. Again, depending on the thickness of the hair, you may need to take two sections. I personally don't. I like to just take this all kind of in one section because it's not too thick and it's just enough. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually connect this here and then also start my angle. I'm gonna be standing directly in front of the section that I'm cutting. There's the piece from the corner that we left longer. And it's really important, look at that, see how straight that is? It's really, really important that you leave that corner because if you cut this, you're gonna create a hole. That's why I bring everything behind the ear so we have this room, all right? We have this room to take off this way. Definitely a little bit of a trick for you professionals out there or people that are either in school. All right, so now it's time to connect and create our angle. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish the length right in through here, because you never know, sometimes a client may freak out <laughs> and say, I don't want an angle. So, okay, fine, there we go, we'll leave a little one length. That's it, <laughs> so I don't have to worry too much. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to establish the biggest part of the haircut, which is the face frame. And not only is this the face frame, but again, this is, this is really the base for the layers. Because if we cut this here, that means everything has to kind of flow into that and be balanced. And there's a few ways we can do that. You can do that by just bringing everything forward this way and creating a kind of forward direction layered cut where it's all kind of feathers back, not a whole lot of movement on top, or we can really kind of blend everything in and create more of a layered look on top to remove some excess weight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna comb this all straight down. I'm, I'm just about standing right in front of where I wanna cut this. So because I know this hair will shrink up, this is where I'm gonna start this. Now, the finger position is really, really important. You don't wanna cut an angle parallel this way. So if you see your stylist, grab your hair and, and they're gonna go like this, like literally get out of the chair and run, get away. <laughs> you wanna always make sure that the body position and the finger positioning look like it's actually right. And, and, and you'll be able to tell, or it'll, it'll be kind of obvious to you because they'll be kind of holding their fingers this way. So the higher you point your fingers, the more, the steeper the angle is gonna be. All right, so now we're cutting. There's our first cuts right there. And we're gonna work this in to the side. Now I'm not going really, really far into the sides because again, this is the length and we wanna keep that length for the most part. But sometimes clients don't understand that you need, you know, us professionals, we need to cut some of this hair in order to create, the, to create this shape into here, okay? It's something we have to do, and you know, sometimes the clients will challenge us and say, oh, I don't want, then, then I say, well, look, you know, the haircut that you want, this is what needs to be done, or else it's not gonna necessarily do that. So what I'm doing now is I'm just going back in, 
and I'm cleaning up the layers to make sure everything is looking just right. And there we go. So technically, what we could do is actually, you know, this is a haircut in itself right here. We could actually brush this all back, and I believe I've done this even in the past. We can brush this whole thing back like this, and we'll have a kind of soft flowing face frame right into here. But keep in mind, there's no layers here. It's all just in the front. So it will appear to be a bit on the heavier side and not a whole lot of movement. But if you're looking for something with just a slight angle and just very, very slight texture right into the front here, then this is the ideal way to do it. So now what we're gonna do is the same exact thing on the other side. Just like what we did there, I'm gonna comb it all without using two sections. I'm gonna do it all in one shot. There's my guide from before on the other side, and I'm cutting it straight across. Again, I'm gonna, even though we did cut the other side, I'm still gonna cut this all one length and through here. So I have my good, my good base, and then I'll go back in and layer it. So now it just kind of gives me an opportunity to look at everything and go, okay. So now, here's what we do here. This is, this is the piece that we cut on this side. And guess what, folks? We have to kind of match this up. So I like to take a little bit from the one side there. And now I'm going to stand in front again. There's the length. And now I'm going to cut upwards. All right. I'm going to cut upwards so that we can match the layers that we cut on the other side. Once again, there it is. I'm pointing my fingers downwards this way. I'm standing basically almost directly in front. You know, obviously if the client is, is here, you'll, you don't want to be on top of them, but you know, you're going to need to, uh, to get pretty close because you need to stand right in front. And what I'm doing is again, now I'm pointing my fingers downwards this way, which is going to allow me to create a shorter to longer shape. So I'm cutting this to the guide from the other side, which is keeping everything balanced. So let's comb this all straight down. And as you can see, we actually ended up pretty, pretty darn good. So I'm going to comb this all forward, right? And this is, this is the best way we can just kind of cross check this to make sure that we're pretty much on the same page. All right, bring this all forward and we're going to nip those kind of thinner ends to give it a nice, solid, strong foundation. This is the key to the whole haircut is this real solid, solid foundation. Okay. I apologize for the elbow and the face, but this is, uh, again, the most important part. We haven't even started really doing the internal layering yet. We haven't started doing the internal layering yet, which is really going to be the next part. So you want to make sure if you're a client that the stylist is really, really being thorough with this. All right. And anytime I'm, I'm cutting someone's hair, I actually reinforce that. I let my clients know, I say, look, I spent a lot of time on this. This is just the base. This is the most important part of the haircut because sometimes they're sitting there going, man, this guy is still cutting, the, cutting my hair in the length. He hasn't even started layering it. Well, this is, this is why, because it's, it's, it's really, really, really important. The last thing you want to do is drive your stylist crazy by telling them how to cut your hair, by telling them this, by telling them that just, you know, if they, if they know what they're doing, which would be pretty obvious, then just let them do their thing. All right. You're going to drive it. You're going to drive the stylist crazy. So again, cleaning that all up. And here we have the angle. So now we're going to start the layers throughout the back here. All right. Now I haven't done any layers yet in the back. So we have the freedom to start right here. Okay. Right here in the top. Now keep in mind that this is always another challenge too, is here is the front, right? This is how short the front is right into here. And look at the difference. Okay. Look at the difference. We have all this hair into here that needs to blend. And you're probably gonna say, how the heck are we going to do that? We have a short range to do it. That's why this is the most important part. So you have to make sure that when you're cutting this, you know, you're not leaving it too long, but you're also cutting enough hair that it's going to be well balanced because we do want to leave a little bit of length throughout the back 
because it, it always works best going shorter to longer and creating that flow. But you also want to make sure that we can connect everything and make it look balanced. So I'm going to take another section. And what I'm doing here is I'm pulling the hair up on this one side right here. And I'm going to cut it to the guide right underneath here. OK, the guide's right underneath. Again, I apologize for the elbow. But what I'm doing is I'm literally cutting straight across. And I'll probably do one more section because this hair is a bit on the thicker side. You don't want to go too far down because you remove too much weight. And you'll make the ends very, very thin, which you don't want to do. So I'm going to bring one more section up to this top piece right here, this top layer. I'm going to cut straight across. See that? Nice, even, beautiful layer right into here. And I'm going to drop this down. I'm not going to continue the bottom yet. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to jump here to the other side. And we're going to pick up where the division point is. And I'm going to comb straight up. Now, I'm using the fine teeth of the comb for when I cut. I'm holding my elbows parallel. And I'm cutting straight across. I just want to show you guys here what it looks like. I'm taking another section. And then I'll probably do one more section here. Here's what it looks like facing frontward. So you can see this cut right through here. And I'm cutting straight across. One more section, not, very, not a very, very thick section, because I want to leave that solid base. And I'll show you guys how we're going to connect that. But I'm bringing everything straight up. Again, I'm standing right behind where I'm cutting. The elbows, the elbows parallel to the section. And I'm going to drop this down. All right, so now it is time to continue layering throughout the back. Remember, we, we basically layered from here all the way across. OK, all this above here is layered. This isn't. The mistake that I see a lot of stylists doing is they'll bring this hair way up here, and they'll over direct it and layer it, and they, and they leave all this weight down through here. And you, you really can't do that, especially if the client is looking for some some movement and some layers. But what we can do is we can still maintain length as long as everything's blended in. All right, so here is that weight. It'll jump right out at you so you can see it. We're going to comb this straight down. And those longer pieces that are kind of jumping out at us, that is what needs to be cut. That is the weight. And we're going to go all the way down here. That's the length. So that really what we're doing is we're just connecting the entire haircut. That's all we're doing is connecting the entire haircut. And this whole section now, this whole piece, is perfectly blended. So next up, I'm taking another section. And I'm working from the center to the right-hand side of the back of the head. There's my guide. I'm holding on to this. Always make sure that you hold on to the guide. Very, very important so you don't lose it. Combing it straight out and cutting. Remember, hold on, and we're going to go all the way down here. And we're going to comb this straight out. There's the hair that needs to be cut, because that is laying over it, and that's preventing it from having that movement. Don't forget those pieces at the very, very bottom. All right? It's very, very crucial. That, that's going to uh, prevent the hair from having a nice flow to it, and that's because you're not layering it. And that's a very, very common mistake. All right, A lot of stylists do that, where they don't go all the way down to the base here. Now remember, we're not cutting the base, because that's, that's the length we need, that solid foundation. But we're cutting everything basically right on top of it. All right, and let's do one more section right behind the ear. Again, very, very important. So as you can see, I'm combing this all straight back. Right? I'm combing it straight back, because I want to maintain that weight to carry and travel with me to the sides. If we, if we remove too much weight into here, what's happening is we're going to create a hole, and we don't want to do that. I'd rather get rid of the weight when I need to into here. As you can see, we've maintained that solid foundation. Everything looks good. And now I'm going to continue the same exact thing on the other side. So I'm going to skim through this. And again, we're, we're just basically mirroring what we did. There's the guide. And after I'm done with this, then we'll come back and we'll work on the top. All right, so I'm done with the back here. But what I want to do is I'm going to comb this all straight down. 
And the important thing, right, if you look at this, if you look at this, you actually don't see any layers. That is the key to a good layered execution, is you don't see it when you comb it straight down. If, if this was really gonna be all botched up, I would see like really harsh steps. But look, look at that. When we do this, you can see all the movement and the layers that this has and how it's seamless. Okay, how this whole thing is seamless all the way from here down to the very, very bottom. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cross check this because I want to, you know, cross checking, especially with me, <laughs> you never know what, you know, mood my haircuts are gonna be in that day, is I always like to just kind of go back in and create any sort of shape that's needed or, you know, cut any hairs that need to be cut. This really, you know, is kind of like that guarantee, you know, this is that guarantee by you going over it, it shows the client, if you're the professional, it shows them that you're putting that extra time in, that labor of love, and it also is gonna help really maximize the haircut and the longevity of it. That's really what's important. And all I'm doing is creating slight diagonal sections going from top to bottom, cutting palm to palm. By doing this, the hair is gonna really just, again, if it's something needs to be cut, it's just gonna be very, very obvious. Are you gonna get this haircut every time? No. And I get emails literally on a daily basis from women all over the country, including men as well. But you know, for these types of haircuts, I mean, I literally have people travel hours and hours uh, for haircuts with me for this stuff. You know, a lot of the times they ask me, or they'll ask me, oh, can you recommend someone who cuts hair like you in like Texas? And I'm like, really, ma'am, I'm sorry. I don't know anyone. And I can't unfortunately control or predict how somebody cuts hair. I, I really, really can't. And that's probably one of the biggest challenges and frustrations is that like, I mean, sometimes I get frustrated because people are like, what do I say to my stylist? Or what do I, I go, you know, if your stylist isn't great, like it's not my problem and I can't help you, you know? Or if you can't find anyone in your area, I mean, there's like nothing I can do about it, you know? I mean, there's, it's like a restaurant. There's a good chef, you know, as well as a bunch of bad chefs, you know? It's, it's really, hit or miss, so I, I unfortunately can't really control it. You know, I would say just look up online, look up reviews, you know, just do some research on the stylist, look at their Instagram, and just see what kind of work the salon in general is, is really, you know, producing. All right, so again, the cross check is almost complete. Everything is looking good, and I'm just bringing everything down and cutting off any bits that need to be cut, and I'll also, do this as well. I'll pull everything straight out. Now, okay, this side is a bit longer, I think because I've had the head, head tilted this whole time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in and I'm going to extend this straight down this way to look and see, and there it is. That is why you need to cross check. That's why you need to go back in because it's better to catch it now than have the client go home and find it, right? So don't be afraid to ask the stylist to check it. You know, I have a lot of clients that do that to me. <laughs> they say, Steven, something doesn't, doesn't seem like even Steven right now. I go, okay, okay, and then I'll go back in and, and double check everything. All right, so that's good. We're looking good here, folks. Now is the time to connect the top with the back. And how I do that is this is, the, this is really, really crucial, ladies, really crucial for when you're getting your hair cut that your stylist does this. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn the head this way so you guys can see, and I'm taking a piece from the back, and I, I just wanna show you guys here. All right, I'm gonna lower this down a little bit more so you can, even, you can see even more. So what I'm doing here is I want you guys to be able to see this on an angle. I'm standing right where I was before. There's the layers. There's the layers. There it stops. And look, all of a sudden we've got long hair. What we need to do is we need to make sure that all that short hair that we cut back here is falling out of the section because we don't want to cut what we've already cut. That is why we do this way. I, I go um, vertically. I cut towards the face 
for the connection. Once the connection is complete, then we can kind of move on from the back. You know, we're done with all this. And then we can start to work throughout the top. If you don't, if the stylist isn't doing this, you know, now they may have their own method of doing it, but this is my method. It doesn't say that I'm 100% right or wrong, but I also, you know, this is what works for me. So there we go. So now, guess what? The back, completely done. We don't have to worry about the back anymore. And as you can see, right through here, look, there's no harsh lines whatsoever. This is really, really important to see, ladies. There's no harsh line from here into here because we connected it. If I held this straight up without connecting it this way, moving forward, there'd be a line right into here. So now what we can do, let's bring us down again, is we can work throughout the top, right into here. And it's good that I wore a black shirt for this because typically I'm wearing the warm colors <laughs> when I'm cutting. Okay, so now again, we're done with the back and we can cut now horizontally. And now I'm holding everything straight up from the head and I'm working towards the face. Now I like to always say we're kind of working in almost like a mohawk section because we're literally just going down the middle. We're going right down the middle and that's it. We're, I don't want to say we're home free, but we're home free as far as this top section right here because all we're doing is just following the pattern of combing the hair straight up and cutting it straight across. And what's gonna happen is once we get to the very top, of very, very front, there's not gonna be really a lot of hair to cut. And because we've already cut it before. So here we are at the very, very front and we're combing it up. And as you can see, there's like really nothing to cut. Now there may be, and I'm gonna show you guys how to blend that. And that's the most important part is the blending of the layers, right? The blending, it sounds like a ritual, the blending of the layers. <laughs> that should have been like a Game of Thrones episode. I'm going to work in through the corners, top, corners, sides. Very, very important. This is, this is very, very important too, because this is where all the, the blending and the connections are gonna come in. So there is the length and the weight that needs to come off. And we're gonna bring all this right down to the very, very bottom. And this is where we can remove that weight that we had before. So I'm not cutting that because that's the length. We don't want to cut the length. We just want to cut everything on top of the length, right? To make sure it blends and has a, has a smooth flow to it. So once again, combing it straight out to the corners. There's our guide from before. Hold on to that hair. Stylus, make sure you hold on to that hair. Comb it straight out. There's the length and here's the weight that needs to be removed. And now we have perfectly blended corners and sides. I'm going to continue this all the way to the front. And look, I know I'm talking quite a bit, but let's take into, into consideration that, you know, there's a lot of stylists out there on YouTube where all they do is voiceover work. All right. I am doing everything live. Like if I was cutting a real client, so none of my stuff is voiceover work. It's all live, it's all happening right now because I think that's the most relatable. And I think that is what clients respect and appreciate is that they really see me in action. And for those of you who are my clients that are watching this, you know, you know, you see me in action, this is what I'm doing. Plus throwing in a few bad jokes, all right? <laughs> so, okay, so what have we done here? I have no idea. Now, what have we done here is we've actually blended in the entire haircut. All this is now worked in. We've got that layer right into here, as you can see, and it's all flowing in. Now, we have to do this on the other side. I keep forgetting there's still another side of the head. We're going to go right here. Same thing, now I've changed my body position. This is called the armpit in face stance. And, uh, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. So, same thing. Hold on to that hair, bring it all the way down to the very, very bottom. This is where that weight is going to be from the back. Let that base drop down. Don't cut that base. And here we have it. So push this out of the way. 
you're cutting the corners. There's the guide. And, and, and hopefully, you know, depending on you, you may be taking off more hair than you expected. You may be taking off not, you know, not a whole lot, but there's got to be some hair coming off. Because if, if there's no hair coming off, then something went wrong somewhere. Because this is, this is a heavily layered haircut. All right, a heavily layered haircut, so there's got to be some hair coming off here. But as you can see, we're kind of cruising right along. Now, I take about 45 minutes, you know, to cut. I, 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 so I book about an hour for my appointments, maybe a little bit longer, depending. Some clients takes me, you know, two hours, <laughs> depending if they're, you know, if I'm on a Valium or not. All right, if I'm taking, you know. But uh, it really depends on my clients and what I'm doing. But for the most part, I'm spending a good hour or so cutting their hair. And the reason is because I know, and it's kind of, again, my guarantee is I say to them, I know your hair is going to look good, you know, a couple of months from now. Now, if somebody wants this look and they want to maintain the short layers and they want to, you know, come in all the time, that's different. That's totally fine. You can do that. But, you know, I can cut this and I know for a fact in like four months, if they were just to grow this out, that their hair will look phenomenal. That's just based off of my confidence and also my experience. So now, here we go. This is, this is the money shot right here, folks. The money shot. Oh, I feel like Bruce Springsteen right now. I've been taught, I feel like I'm doing a concert over here. All right, so I'm gonna go right down the middle again. And this, wait till you see this, right? Look at this. We're gonna comb this. Now again, the hair doesn't grow straight up this way. The hair grows out from the head. Right? It goes out from the head like this. No one really has their hair go straight up this way or like this. It kind of grows out from the head and everyone's hairline is different. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna comb this straight out this way. All right, so you can see here, let's bring this over a bit more. And the good thing is, is holy cow, there's not really much hair to cut. But what this means is that this is showing the actual connection between this part here in the front and this part throughout the top, going all the way back. And folks, we hit a home run here. We hit a home run because this seam seamlessly tra uh, is blended from here all the way to the back, hallelujah. All right, so now I'm going to pick up a section from the side and what, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to yank the hair out of her head. <laughs> I'm gonna comb this all right to the middle Right? I'm combing us all right to the middle and checking and cutting. All this really is doing is ensuring balance and making sure everything is blended. This is, this is necessary because if you don't do this and you have pieces that are like three times as long in through here, it's really not gonna be good for the haircut, I'll be honest with you. It's, it's gonna prevent the hair from the flowing, it's gonna you know, block that all that layering you did, it needs to all be connected, I'm telling you. I've done this a million times, this needs to happen. And most of the time, honestly, if it was done properly, there really wouldn't be a lot of hair coming off. So that's done there, and then what I like to do is just do one last brush through or comb through of all the hair, get all these little knots out into here, and the most important part really is here, the corners. So look, that one little piece jumped out at me right there, and I'm gonna keep combing to make sure everything is blended and connected right into here. We're looking good. Same thing on the other side. And the reason I'm being a little more aggressive is because, you know, I know how to, how to work with hair, right? I know how to handle hair, I know how to comb it, and you know, sometimes the experience comes into play, but you wanna, you wanna be a little aggressive sometimes with the hair, right? You wanna make sure that you're really combing through it you want to make sure that you're getting every section. Don't be afraid to be a little aggressive with the hair, okay? You kind of need to take charge sometimes. Well, that's how I cut, honestly, that's how I cut. And then last but not least, I'm notorious for this is, you know, you want to pull everything straight up and make sure it's even. And if there's any little bits that aren't even, then we have to create, make sure we're even Steven for that day or else we'll be getting the phone call later on. All right, so I'm just going to finish this up here and then we'll proceed to do the blow dry. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna show you what this looks like as is, okay? With no product in it whatsoever. I just wanna show you kind of what we have 
going on into here. Look at all that lift and that volume and that texture. All right, look at that. And I think that this shape looks great. I think that uh, you can see that the layers are all working in seamlessly. It's got a great flow to it, you know? And, and I always like to show clients this too. When I say, look how it's drawn. That's why I cut wet into dry, okay? I've, if you noticed, I didn't once go back in and spray the hair down. The reason is, especially on blondes or finer hair or just because I want to see how everything is really working in. That's what I want to see. I want to see, look at that. You see how that's flowing in? Even, even though it's a bit damp, if we could see these kind of results from the haircut, then we know we're in good shape. I'm so excited about this haircut. I'm out of breath over here. Any, anyone have oxygen? I'm, no, I'm just kidding. So bring this back and there we go. All right, look at that. Beautiful. So I'm gonna put a little product in it, we're gonna blow dry it, and then we'll come back and see the finished result. Okay, and my arm and shoulder are killing me now. <laughs> Here is the finished blow dry. And I know you're probably saying, who on earth wears their hair like that? Well, nobody. But this is how I blow dry this haircut. So what I always have the client do, and this is my famous money shot, ladies. This is the money shot. So we've got everything towards the face. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna rake it all back off the face. We're gonna rake it like that, rake it, rake it. And we're gonna work all of these layers in through the haircut. Then. We bring it forward and I go, bam, look at that. Look how it just falls right in, okay? Let's look at the side profile. The side profile is very, very important, all right, when working with this type of look. So look at that, see? We've got this starting, look how short that is right here. And it's not, it's literally the perfect length, okay? Look at that. So this literally flows all into here, literally seamlessly. This has gorgeous, it actually makes the hair look a bit longer. It actually makes uh, the hair thicker because what we've done is we've actually created, and when you have a good haircut that's balanced, what it does is it actually creates volume and, and really creates the hair to have, um, it, it's all in sync together. When the hair is all flowing and synced together, it's just a seamless, beautiful flow. And that's bring this back to the front so you guys can see. Now, I, I'm kind of a flip guy, all right? I like to flip a little bit, you know, maybe a little bit old school. But, I mean, look at this. See how gorgeous it is? How much life it has to it, how much bounce. And let's rake this all back. And then a little bit of hairspray. We can spray that in. But this literally is the haircut doing all of the work. I've put in, I literally, I, all I use is a repair spray. This is my, my fleek repair, shine, and smoothing spray. So the haircut is creating all of that volume. So this is really a beautiful haircut, and uh, I think it came out absolutely gorgeous. Wow, what a whopper of a video. I feel like I just gave birth to a blow dryer. Man, whew, what, a, what a video that was, huh? Talk about, but I gotta say, I'm, I'm so passionate about haircuts like this Okay, let's just see what this looks like underneath. So in case your client is ever hanging from the ceiling, you know, they can give you good feedback on, on the hair. All right, but uh, this, is, this is really, really an amazing look. And if the client wants to flip their hair around to the side, I mean, this is a really, really gorgeous hair. This is the money haircut. I charge $150. Uh, soon my prices will increase to about $500 a haircut, I think, honestly. But, uh, but yeah, so look at that, man. I'm just so happy with how this came out. So anyway, again, ladies, if you're a client watching this, I can't promise you, or I may not know anyone in like throughout the country who knows how to cut hair this way. I have, really have no idea. I just focus on myself. Do some research, you know, find somebody who maybe on Instagram or social media who you see photos like this of the haircuts, stuff that you're looking for. Again, you know, if somebody's charging, say, $25 or $30 for a haircut like this, I mean, you know, are you going to get that detail 
that attention you may or may not. I'll be honest with you. You know, I charge 150 bucks. I spend about an hour. You can see what I put into this haircut. I can guarantee this client that their hair will look phenomenal in like three months because I just know what I put into it. Can you, can you, you know, can your stylist promise the same for you? Are you getting those results? And if you're a stylist, why aren't you producing results like this? I mean, it really comes down to education and practice. So ladies, let me know in the comments below if you're a stylist, a professional, if you found this helpful, please let me know if you're a client and love this haircut and you're like, oh my God, you know, and if you're asking, how do I tell my stylist how to do this? You can show them the video. You can take a screenshot on your phone. You know, I'm sure there's stylists out there who've seen 8 million tutorials of mine from their clients. I apologize. I don't, I don't force it on them, but if they want to show you a video of mine, then that's cool. I apologize again, but maybe check it out. You know, uh, it may be helpful to you. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for more videos with the Salon Guy.